Well, for more on those sanctions the U.S. is reimposing on Iran, I'm joined by Hamoud Saleh, interim dean of the undergraduate studies and a professor of political science at California State University, Dominguez Hills. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome, Rochelle. A pleasure. Now, as we've seen, the EU is already moving to protect its companies from the fallout of U.S. sanctions on Iran. Meanwhile, China, Russia and India are still committed to the Iran deal. So how much pressure does the U.S. move actually put on Iran? Well, it, it's a lot of pressure when you think about the impact that these sanctions may have uh, on uh, the Iranians in general, uh, the Iranian people, the people on the street who are going to be affected by it. So from that perspective, there is a, there is a pressure. Uh, the the uh, United States move is certainly uh, a well-calculated design, perhaps, to please its partners, its regional partners in uh, the Gulf region and, and, and Israel. Uh, this is, uh, in many ways, it has uh, bad, uh, ill-mannered, uh, 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 bad timing uh, for uh, to do such uh, such sanctions. So the United States does ha can put pressure, but in the end, with the absence of an, an end game, except for a regime change that is very implied in, in the sanctions, particularly with the, the ones that are coming in November, uh, I, I don't see the reason why uh, United States, how United States could be influential or put in pressure that the Iranians would, would sort of uh, uh, relent or accept negotiations right. or do any other things. Now, you mentioned that most of the, the brunt of this will be felt by everyday Iranians. How will they see that reflected? You know, it's very interesting. We should learn when, when sanctions that we've seen against South Africa, the sanctions that we have seen against Iran. Sanctions usually, I mean, normal, they, they won't work because it gives a credence to the regime in place and uh, uh, that they are not at fault for the problems they are facing. And more than anything else, in the case of Iraq, of Iran, the benefactors is the hardliners. So if you remove rem uh, Rouhani, if you remove Zaref, if you, you remove and you antagonize the liberal uh, the, the, the people who have a rational voice you can negotiate with, the alternative is really bad uh, for the United States uh, in more ways than one. You are left with the hardliners who are going to use it to their advantage. So the Iranian people will, will be affected by this, and we'll see uh, how much of that uh, will have an impact on uh, the hardliners. Remember, when this negotiation started, uh, the hardliners were not fully on board. They told Rouhani, just as they told the, the previous uh, 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 president, we, we don't support you, but we are wait, waiting for you to fail. Right. And this is, again, a very, very difficult uh, uh, sort of uh, a bad move if you were to uh, strengthen relationships with the moderates in Iran, because the alternative is really a, ba a bad thing for the, uh, the region and the, and the world in general. Now, now Professor Hamoud, how would you compare where Iran's economy was when the Iran deal was first signed versus where it is now? You know, there, there are some improvement, uh, but still, because the, 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 Iranian, the Iranian economy is, has not doing well, the demands uh, on uh, demands are very high. But it is set on trajectory. The, mens the, the deals that you talked about with Airbus, with Boeing, uh, the uh, opening to foreign investors, the Europeans' uh, interest, or some of the deals they were working with the Iranians, those will have some long-term impact. But it, it didn't the, the uh, lifting of the sanctions did not produce what, uh, what was expected, but they were moving in the right, uh, the right di directions. And I think that's where Rouhani was hoping to uh, sort of capitalize on making the case, because remember, he's, he was elected on the basis that he would bring prosperity, that he would uh, open up the, uh, the, the opening to the, uh, the lifting of sanctions right. will benefit the uh, Iranians. But you know, employment remained very high, inflation is very high, uh, improvement, but not to the uh, uh, to the level where the, uh, the Iranians are free from all the troubles. Now, Professor, Professor Hamoud, um, we saw that President Trump said that he was open to meeting with President Rouhani. What are the expectations there, given that they're essentially being stuck in the middle between U.S. sanctions and the other signatories who really do still want to commit to the Iran deal? 
And I think that's, that's, a, that's a diplomatic way of saying uh, to the United States uh, that I am going to, you're talking about negotiation, we are going to, be, to, to negotiate, but there are uh, conditions and that's, there are no conditions. We have also to realize there may be some backdoor channels. The uh, Oman, Oman could play a, a role in uh, orchestrating some kind of a deal uh, between the two, bringing some kind of uh, negotiations at the public level. Level, because what we've seen from uh, Donald Trump uh, is that he has this tendency of playing hard only to soften later. We've seen this with Kim, uh, with, uh, with the Korean cases. And I think maybe the Iranians are thinking on the, along those lines. But Rouhani's message is very clear. Uh, we are negotiating, but we are not going to negotiate under any conditions. And those conditions are known. Uh, uh, that's what the, the Iranians have refused in the past. What is very interesting is also the declaration from the supreme rulers and some of the leaders leaders of the National Guard, who are uh, opposed to, who've seen this as more of an attack on Iran, and they couldn't understand why uh, they are in the, uh, the United States is acting the way to, uh, it's doing. Right. So, so it's very, very interesting to see how this will involve, d evolve. All right. Thank you so much, Professor Hamoud Saleh of California State University, Dominguez Hills.